Welcome back or welcome to our YouTube channel uh, where we're building out uh, a camper van, mini camper van out of a Ford Transit Connects, Connect XLT. Uh, it's a 2012 uh, model. Um, and today we are going to go ahead and hook our solar panel that we have on top uh, up to power and the charge controller and actually test out to see if this all works. Um, I don't doubt that it will, but you never know. Uh, good to figure this stuff out when you still have some time to correct it. Um, if you wanna see all of our other videos, uh, feel free to subscribe to the page where you're continuing to, to update uh, as we move along. And if you want to see the solar panel install on the top of the roof uh, and what went into that, you can check that out uh, in the link somewhere around in the video here. Um, so today we're gonna hook it up to electrical. I'm gonna pull the van out and we'll, we'll test it out. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna show you what all comes in this kit. Uh, it's shipped all in a box, comes with this really nice kit. Uh, I got the premium 100 watt uh, solar kit from Renogy, got it off Amazon. Find the, the link to that in the description. Um, so it came with a 100 watt solar panel and mounting brackets and, and screws to mount, or bolts to mount the solar panel to the brackets and also screws to mount it to the roof. Obviously there's lots of different mounting options if you got roof racks, stuff like that. We didn't have a roof rack, we just went straight right up onto the top of the, the roof. Uh, it also comes with two uh, quick connect cables, one for the positive, one for the negative coming from the solar panel. Up there also there's a, a 10 amp fuse that co goes, connects to the positive uh, just to protect that, that line uh, there. Um, and you can see more about that part in the other video. Um, of installing that. But down here, what we're gonna have in the van is, uh, it comes with this charge controller. So this is a smart MMP or MPPT, sorry, uh, 20 amp charge controller. Um, probably could have gone with the, the 40 amp because my Renogy battery that I have here um, can take 30 amp charging voltage. Um, so, but uh, sometimes you gotta go with your budget, right? And so that's, I don't think solar is going to be, uh, it's kind of a backup, um, something like that. So we, I don't know if we got exactly what we need for, for our needs, but it, it'll do, it'll do some, it'll help us out. And it also was kind of fit in the budget. So, um, comes with this, the charge controller, the, um, and it comes with two cables to come out of the charge controller to go to the battery. They're not color coded, so you might want to label those. Um, it also comes with a 20 amp fuse uh, that will come from the charge controller, go in between where the charge controller is and the battery. Um, it's got, it came with this red cable, which will go to the, uh, the fuse. And then coming out of there, it'll go to the battery. So this protects the line from the charge controller to the battery. So both, both ends of this are, are protected there by a fuse. It came with a Bluetooth module, which will plug into the charge controller. This allows you to get the, the DC home Renogy app so you can monitor things, change settings, stuff like that. So that's super cool. And then it also comes with a, a temperature gauge that you can just set on your battery and get make sure that it uh, can report on the temperature of your battery. So then I got the, the Renogy uh, 100 amp hour uh, AGM battery obviously there's a wide range of, of batteries you can get um, and there's tons of resources out there to figure out what you need we did some quick calculations on what we had i think this will do the do the trick um at least for for what we need it for we don't have a ton of power uh needs in here at least how we have it planned out now um, but you can always add more batteries uh, one thing to consider about the connects as well is that they're very small and they're they, they from what I hear, it's basically a Ford Focus that's bigger. So uh, I could be wrong on that, but we wanna keep the weight down. We need to consider the weight of the things that are in here. The 100 amp hour battery is like 66 pounds. The 200 amp hour battery is like 129 pounds. So that's, we thought maybe this is a way we could save some, uh, save some weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and start hooking this up now. More quick caveat. I am not an electrical expert. I am not a solar expert. 
I uh, am very far from that actually. And when I came into this, I knew absolutely zero about this. And so I, this is what kept me up at night thinking about the camera. Cause I, there was so much barrier to, to entry here. I spent hours and hours and hours and just know that do you do your research. Um, obviously I might not do everything perfect, but I think I'm going to do it in the safest way. Safety is probably the most important thing here. You don't want your van to explode, um, or start on fire or things like that. So paying attention to, as you're going through electrical stuff, paying attention to what you're getting and, and really do that research. And if you are struggling or you don't know, or you're unsure, talk to someone who knows, right? Um, maybe not your uncle who, uh, has strung up a few, uh, switches in the house, but someone who actually knows. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is connect the charge controller to the battery. So reading the manual and hearing people on YouTube and things like that, that's extremely important. Always connect your control charger or your charge controller to the battery first. Never connect your solar panels first to the charger. I don't know every reason why. I think you just got to take Renegy's word for it and other people who know more than me. So I'm just going to roll with that advice. Um, and it's pretty simple. There's just here, there's all the different ports here. So I'm just going to go battery positive and battery negative. I'm going to connect the positive to the 20 amp fuse. Uh, and then from there, go to the battery. And then the negative will go directly to the negative terminal on the battery. battery. So there's just these little screws up on the top that you just unscrew. And then you take your the cable that they provided. It's a nice part about this kit is they provide all of the cabling. They're pre-crimped, everything. So I'm gonna come in here. And I just inserted that cable into the battery positive. And then I'm gonna tighten it down. Okay, don't over... That didn't work. Okay, I was wrong. I did it right the first time. I just didn't screw it in far enough. So that's in there. False alarm. And then I'm gonna take this fuse. It's a really fancy looking thing. Some gold bolts on it. I'm gonna take the cap off of this. Unscrew these bolts. There's a washer, a lock washer, and a bolt. Oops. And then I'm just going to feed this cable onto one end of that washer, lock washer. I'm just going to hand tighten this for now because I know I'm going to um, need to un pull this all apart again when I actually get things installed. Okay, sorry about that. So now I got the charge controller connected to the fuse on one side. And then I'm gonna take this red cable and put it on the other side of the fuse. And put some of those things on. And then I'm gonna connect this to the positive end terminal of the battery. Here, you might not wanna hold on to me. We got Eleanor in here, just so that everyone knows. She's watching the We're making a, a YouTube video so people can see how to do this. And now I'm going to take the other cable here. The black one? The other black one, yeah. 
and we got to unscrew the negative battery screw. Okay, so I got to put this black cable in here, mm. and then I got to screw it down. I'm trying to peek in there. Mm -hmm. and we'll dip that nice and snug on there. Seems like it's just spinning for days here. Just make sure that, okay, so that's snug. And now I need to connect this to the negative terminal. Why, the red one? And we might see a little spark here. <gasps> nope, but look at, the charge controller has turned on. So we got power, so that's a good start. And now we need to grab the cables from the solar panel. And if I flip this around, I had labeled because they don't have color coded ones coming from the solar panel. This would, the positive would just be red, but I just put a piece of electrical tape on the positive. So that I'm going to connect into the positive, uh, PV, it says here, Let's see, PV positive comes from the positive from the solar panel and PV negative comes from the negative on the solar panel. Okay, so we're getting we got those hooked up. Yep, looks like we're right seeing here. solar and it looks like it's in like sleep mode probably because it's not yeah, actually registering any sunlight. If you're talking, they will hear you in the video. Oh. Mm -hmm. I can see that uh, it's all connected up here. Yeah. So again, to review, positive. No, first, <laughs> Eleanor is my daughter. First, hook the charge controller to the battery. Positive, or bat positive to the 20 amp fuse from the fuse uh, from the fuse to the battery, the positive on the battery, and then bat negative to the negative on the battery, and then po uh, PV positive comes from the positive on your solar panel, and PV negative comes from the negative or the uh, negative on your solar cable. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pull this out into the sun, and we'll see if it's working. All right, so we moved out in the sun. It's cold and windy, but we got a little sun icon there. It looks like we're getting 12.7 volts. Um, I was reading on the settings uh, from Renogy that it needs to be on SLD for for these AGM. There's an actual AGM setting. Some people say do something else, but I'm just going with uh, I'm going with what Renogy is telling me because that Renogy charge controller and battery so i'm just gonna roll with that so it is charging the batteries i'm gonna download the app and see what that looks like okay so grab the app uh run gdc home uh, i can hook the battery temperature up if i want to but i, I hooked up the bluetooth the bluetooth uh module here and it just plugs in RS-232 jack there, you grab the app and auto detects it and told me, hey, this baby's charging right now. So right now it's charged my battery, uh, which is pretty sweet. So another step done. If you found this video useful or helpful or whatever, uh, give it a like, subscribe uh, to our channel as we're kind of going through this. We continue to post updates on each of these. Uh, we also have some update videos that are less how-to. We just have updates if you want to subscribe and, and see those as well. So you can just kind of get the, after a few projects are done, I'll do a little update uh, just to kind of watch the build. Um, but if you're really, if you're in the middle of a build right now uh, and you're finding any of these videos helpful, uh, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, so, awesome. Solar is done. On to the next. Thanks for watching.